welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is another haul video. This is from Teddy Bees, and this is from her ready to ship opening that she had at the end of the last pre-order. Um, she does not include like a packing slip or invoice. At least I didn't get one in this. Um, so I'm going to try to remember the timing. So, and kind of give you a little bit of like the order. So this is technically like two combined shipments. Um, when she first opened her ready to ship, which was I think around mid December, um, or early December. So I've had part of this for quite a while now. Um, I went in like three times cause you, I go in, get like the sense I want the most and kind of like, that's what, like, I think a lot of people do. You do multiple orders to make sure you're getting the items that you want. And then she'll combine your orders and refund your shipping. And so I got that order and then she, after she shipped everything, she opened her site back up for whatever was left. But then she also went through her own collection. This is Tiffany now. She also went through her own collection of her teddy bees and ended up listing a bunch of stuff from her personal collection that she wanted to just kind of clear out and everything was offered at a discount. Some of it was stuff that either was partially used or a little bit used. Some of it maybe was just like messy or just wasn't something that she wanted to ship out or stuff she had held back for herself, but then was at the point where, okay, let me go ahead and, um, sell it to kind of clear out and make some space and she sold everything at a discount so when she did that i did want to go back in and get another scent and then i wanted to see what she was going to list from her kind of like personal collection that she was selling so then i just got that shipment a few days ago so this i'm filming this on january january 5th january 6th saturday january 6th and so i i wanted to wait for that order to come in before i film this so i could just do everything at once and not have multiple ready to ship hauls from teddy bees so i have quite a few things in here i have one two three four five i have nine i have 11 loaves and I will say because the ready to ship items go really fast and from what I've heard from other people most people go after the tubs so I was just like I'm gonna go after the loaves for the scents I want so that I can I felt like I would be more likely to get them but I did so I did get what did I say 11 loaves and six tubs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. yeah 11 loaves and six tubs so as always you get the teddy bees card that um on this side has all her information and then on the back side has like melting tips and stuff so i'm not going to read through it i think everyone shared it a lot i have two samples because again this was two shipments that came in the first one is i heart vanilla palo santo um her i heart vanilla is a vanilla type blend i know it has boardwalk marshmallow clouds in it and other vanilla notes this is very pretty yeah, this is a really nice blend. That may be one I think about getting my hands on when she offers it. And then the next one is Gone Baby Gone, which I'm glad I got a sample of because it's one that I kind of contemplated getting. I ended up not, but lots of people kept talking about it. But it's very floral to me. I feel like that's, what is in that? Is that Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds? But then other... I don't know, it just comes off quite floral. So um, I'll melt it, see how I like it on warm, but I'm, I'm kind of glad I did not order that, at least for now. Okay, so I, I think I will start with a couple items that were from Tiffany's personal collection. And I do remember the price point on these. Um, this first one here is toasted marshmallow sugar cookies. It is a full tub, so you'll be able to see, but I think it was part of her personal collection because it has that glop on the top, so it's not, quote, pretty. She sold this for $8, which I thought is a good deal. So toasted marshmallow sugar cookies is sweet sugar, buttery shortbread, buttercream frosting, vanilla sugar cookie dough, and toasty marshmallows. And this is March 27th, 2023. So it's from earlier this year. But yeah, smells fantastic. Just a really yummy, sweet vanilla kind of cookie scent. So excited to have that and that it's pretty well cured at this point. Then the other one is gingerbread ice cream cake. 
And this is one again from her personal collection. It was barely used. She sold this one for $6. So you can see there's probably not even an ounce or not even, yeah, not even an ounce missing. Um, and this is one I was excited to try. I didn't get it initially, but then I saw a lot of people talking about it. So I was excited to see her list it and I was able to get it. This is sweet buttercream layered between warm white cake and vanilla cream topped with loads of gingerbread crumbs. And this is dated October, 2022. So is this really from October or is that a misprint on the date? Yeah, that smells really good. It smells quite strong. So this very well could be from October of 2022 versus 2023. I know this was in her um, last pre-order though. It smells rich and decadent with a lot of that gingerbread. Oh, that smells really good. So I'm excited to have that one. And you know, for six bucks, that's a fantastic deal. Okay, so to continue on, the main reason I wanted to go in on the ready to ship was because um, after watching everybody's hauls from the pre-order, there was a scent that I did not get, but when people were describing it in their hauls, I was like, oh my gosh, I think that has Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies in it. So I wanted to get it in the ready to ship and I got a loaf and then I told myself if it comes and it does smell like it has Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, then I will go back in and get more. So I did get the loaf. When that order arrived, the first ready to ship arrived, it was it does have Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies in it. So when she reopened her site, I got another loaf and a tub. So this is Harvest Cider and Birch. And again, I did not get this in the pre-order, but now in this order, I have one tub and two loaves. So here's one loaf and, because you guys know, and here's a second loaf. <laughs> yeah, my obsession, I don't know. And here's where I'm gonna like tire myself out of it. But anyhow, so the scent notes are plums, dark cherries, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. So the notes that are part of the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies are the plums, dark cherries, and peppered woods. A Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies also says something about orange. She doesn't list that here, but that kind of actually makes sense to me because I feel like I don't get any orange notes when I smell it. Um, and then the, in addition to the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies, it's vanilla, vanilla birch and warm pomegranate cider. Now, when people were smelling this in their haul videos, a lot of people said they smell mostly the, um, sorry, let me show you the label. They smelled mostly the cider. Um, it could be, I think a lot of people are not familiar with the dance of the sugar plum fairies because when I smell this, I feel like I get like 60% dance of the sugar plum fairies and like 30% cider and then just a tad bit of that vanilla birch. Oh, I just realized my lid is cracked. Um, that's okay, I'll put it in a, in a poly bag. So I wanna smell the bottom. Yeah, you definitely get the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies mixed with that cider and just some of that birch, that vanilla birch in the background. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty, but to me, the Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies is quite dominant in this. Like I said, like it's like 50, 60% um, with the other notes in there. So super excited to have the tub and the two loaves of that. And that was like the main, main reason that I decided to go in. Um, now I got two more when she reopened the site. There was two more that I got. I've two more tubs that I got. So this first one here is Christmas cookies. It's an assortment of baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. Sorry, it's like kind of dark in my room. It's a really cloudy day, so my lighting is just not great. Yeah, it smells so good. It's like a sweet cookie with pine. I don't know if I'm gonna go pop this one. Oh, there it popped out. I just liked, I can't remember if I got this one in the pre-order. That's how bad it is. I might have, but that's okay. I like it a lot. <laughs> I may have, I may not have, I don't know. Sorry, here we go. Yeah. It's like a cookie and pine. I do think the pine in this is the same one that she uses for her um, Christmas trees and cream, but it's more dominant in this blend than it is the Christmas trees and cream. So I like this one better. 
yeah, smells really, I don't know if I'm accurate on that or not, but that's just what my nose kind of smells. So that is Christmas cookies. I'm excited for that. Then the other one I saw a lot of people talk about as well. And I thought, okay, let me try it in a tub. I was a little hesitant on this one. So this is the night before Christmas and it's flannel sheets. That's what made me hesitate is the flannel sheets. Um, warm cashmere and vanilla blended with the scent of Christmas trees. So cashmere, vanilla, Christmas trees, love it. But flannel sheets, I was a little hesitant because I was worried it was going to be a laundry scent. I love the dark blue with the glitter it makes it kind of look like a night sky, right? So fun. Let me open this and look how pretty it's like a galaxy. You do get quite a bit of the flannel sheets on cold, at least on the top. Let me get this out so I can smell the bottom. Sorry, I know that takes a little while. Yeah, I'm getting um, quite a bit of the flannel sheets. I feel like maybe I get a hint of the pine, which um, might give it a little bit of a clean type scent mixed with that flannel sheets. It's nice, but I think this is something that will definitely be more of like a laundry room scent for me. So, but it smells nice. Nice. It kind of has like a clean, fresh type um, scent to it. Okay. So then, oh wait, no, one more tub. Oops. So how many? Four, five, six. Oh yeah. Six tubs. Did I say six tubs or did I say five at the beginning? I don't know. Whatever. This other one, a lot of people were talking about, did not get it in the pre-order, but I thought, okay, let me give it a try because it sounds like I might like it. This is Old Country Store. This is Sweet Peach Preserves, Hot Apple Pies, Warm Cinnamon, and a Slight Hint of Pine. Now, a lot of people were saying it smelled heavy on the cinnamon, kind of like going into like a craft store or something like that and getting um, that strong cinnamon but it smells so good. It definitely is strong on like a sweet cinnamon. Um, definitely is spicy cinnamon, but you get a hint of that pine and it definitely smells kind of like a craft store or a country store at Christmas. Really, really, really good. It's heavy. It's heavy pine. Sorry. It's heavy cinnamon with pine. I mean, where it says sweet peach preserves and hot apple pie. Oh, I can get the hot apple pie but it's definitely more like a spicy hot apple pie. Yeah, I don't know, it just smells really good. Definitely like a good fall Christmas type scent. Oops, I had that upside down, old country store. So glad to have that one as well. Okay, so now let me go into the rest of the loaves I got. Um, most of these loaves are repeats of what I got in my pre-order. I think there's only one new to me yeah, new scent that I did not get. I'm just going through them really quick that I did not get in the pre-order. So I'll start with this one then. So this I did not get in the pre-order. Um, again, heard a lot of people talking about it. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and try and get it. This is Spooky Encounters, which is sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberries, a hint of patchouli, and blackberry cotton candy. Yeah. So this was poured in October 2023 spooky encounters so was this yeah this was from the last pre-order right yeah this smells really nice um it's unique let me show you what it looks like here it looks fun definitely get like the sandalwood and the smoked oud and then i just get kind of a little bit of sweetness from the cherry and the raspberries Maybe I get a touch of the patchouli. I don't know. It just smells like kind of a sophisticated berry. A little bit like of a body care, I feel like. It's kind of like a body care blackberry raspberry scent. But not overly fruity at all. Just a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of that berry fruit. It's really nice. It's kind of light on cold. But I feel like that's definitely a scent that could blossom a lot on warm. So excited to have that not that i need all these loaves but i need to i need to slow my roll in 2024 that's all i have to say okay so the rest of these are all repeats things i got in tubs that i decided i want to had i wanted to have more of because i really like the scents so this first one here is vanilla balsam and the perfect holiday this is fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow layered with balsam fir frosted vanilla and snow-capped pine needles 
So this is, I believe, a layered one, um, but I did get this in a tub. Oh, it smells so good. I think the vanilla balsam is what's on top. This is what it looks like. Let me see if I can pop this out. Sorry, one second. Yeah, so here's where the layers are. Yeah, and I think the bottom is supposed to be the perfect Christmas, which is the perfect holiday. It smells so good. Yeah, that smells really, really nice. Okay, so excited to have that because I love Christmas scents. I could never possibly <laughs> melt everything that I have. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get through all this stuff. I'm gonna have to definitely share some with family. I got one of Oh Christmas Tree, which I actually got this in just a souffle in my um, pre-order and I'm almost done with that souffle. So I'm actually excited to have more in my collection and definitely excited to let this cure to see how it does um, this coming up Christmas, you know, Christmas 2024. So this is balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage and whipped vanilla. And this just really just smells like an authentic kind of sappy pine needle tree. Smells so good. So, so good. And on, on, um, like on warm, this one smells really good. It's not super strong right now. I'm hoping with a little bit more cure time, it will get stronger and a little bit longer lasting, but isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Just a beautiful Christmas tree scent. I love it. So I definitely want to let this one cure to get the best performance out of it. I also got Holiday, which I absolutely love. Um, if you watched my last Should You Melt This, I um, said that I believe this smells very similar to Sassy Girl Aromas um, Christmas at Santa's, which is pepperberry woods, like toasted marshmallow and sugar cookies, I think. Whereas the scent notes um, on Holiday with Teddy Bees is the scent of wreaths hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and a warm fireplace. But to me on warm, it smells like um, Christmas at Santa's. It smells so good. It's definitely a pepperberry wreath. Um, that's that tree note in there, which I love. But I definitely prefer it in blends. But pepperberry wreath is like this bright, kind of berry green tree scent. It's so good. But then like the toasted, what is it? She called it toasted marshmallow? A warm fireplace gives it a little bit of a warmth and a creaminess and the same thing with the cookies just gives it that little bit of the, like that cookie note underneath really really good and this performs well i've melted part of to have it in a tub i think i have it in a tub and i really love this one so again excited to have more the next one here is christmas is coming this is warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar, pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar and hints of cedar and Fraser fur. So this is Christmas is coming. And oops, this one wasn't closed. Oh my God, it just smells so good. It smells like a beautiful cinnamon bakery with a little bit of tree note. Yeah, and it's warm and delicious, like almost smells edible. I have not melted this yet. I think I have it in a tub, but it smells delicious. But what I'd like to do is melt the tub. So that's another thing is why I wanted to get some of these loaves is because if I really liked it on cold, I could melt the either the souffle or the tub now and then have the loaf for later to let it cure longer. Oh, it smells so good. So, so, so good. I love this one. Make sure that is sealed. Okay, then this next one here is Pumpkin Woods. Uh, I've melted some of this as well. I think I got this in a souffle. Really like this one. It's a very unique kind of fall, winter type scent. So it's pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, palo santo, and winter woods. And when I melted this, I've melted this a little bit. It definitely like one, it lasted all day, but the scent notes changed kind of throughout the day, like what I was smelling the most. And it is just such a pretty, like spicy, kind of woodsy, kind of earthy scent. So beautiful. Yeah, and there's no bakery in this one. So um, you definitely have to kind of like those spicy, earthy type notes, but it's very pretty. Yeah, and woodsy notes. I really, really like this one. 
close that. All right, three more loaves. So this next one is Morning Cup of Christmas. Um, and this is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade, and a hint of fresh pine. I have not melted this one either. I think I have this one in a tub from the pre-order, but love the way this smells on cold. So good. I know a lot of people said that they feel like they smell the, the cranberry chutney the most, which I can see that, but you do get the vanilla, um, the vanilla chai spices as well. Let's see what that looks like. And you get a little bit of the apple marmalade, but it's not a heavy apple. Now, I don't know that I'm smelling pine at all on cold, but it smells good. Definitely more of kind of like a fruity, spicy, like a fall fruit and spice type scent, but it smells very good. Oh, one of my favorites. I have melted this one, and this is a fantastic performer already. Um, I have this in a tub. If I could have gotten more loaves in this i totally would have and i think a lot of people really like this one so i wouldn't be surprised if tiffany brings it back in her next pre-order this is sugared chestnuts and apple butter and it's apple butter brown sugar toasted chestnuts clove and notes of spice this is just a beautiful decadent um apple butter spicy scent it's just so beautiful yeah, and it's warm and it's rich and it like, again, this is another one that smells like edible, like you would want to eat it. So good and it performs great already. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Near the end of this one, so it lasts quite a while in the warmers, near the end of it, the spice notes definitely get heavier, but it's so good. So, so, so good. So this is one I could totally be like, let me get another three loaves of this one because it's fantastic and it's a good performer. And then the last one here is Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. Again, I got this one in a souffle because I wanted to see how the pistachio was compared to the Witches Be Crazy um, because I'm not like a huge fan of the Witches Be Crazy. I don't dislike it, but it's just not a favorite for me. And I feel like it tends to overpower the other scents that it's blended with. But I want to try this one because I'm loving pistachio right now. And I also want to see, like, I don't love the really cherry heavy pistachio um, and her pistachio. And this is fantastic. So this is The Witches Be Crazy is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon, spiced vanilla blended with. Okay, so that's The Witches Be Crazy. And then the pistachio, it's blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. Um, fantastic. Now, when I melted some of my souffle already, I do feel like the witches be crazy. It comes out more. So what I really want to do is let this one cure for a while and then see how it does after it's cured for a while to see if that pistachio comes out more. Because on cold, I get such a good amount of the pistachio and it's so, de so delicious. But so we'll see. So I'm excited to have more of this. So anyhow, guys, this, um, yeah, this is what I got from Teddy B's. Um, I do plan on continuing to order from her. Uh, Tiffany did say that her next pre-order is probably going to be either really late January or possibly early February. Um, with her having done the pre-order and the ready to ship and kind of throwing some like additional ready to ship stuff up there on her website and then she got really sick i guess for quite a while through the holiday um she needs some like rest time and to spend time with her family and to do stuff around the house and i think she's at the shop and stuff like that so she's not planning on doing another pre-order till like late january or early february it sounds like at this point and she's supposed to keep um people posted you know in the group on the timing of that um so i'll have linked below the facebook group if you're not a member although i think most people are at this point if you're not a member but i'll have it linked below as well as her website i think the last time i checked she still had a few things up on her website i think she has it up there at some point she might take it down though if she hasn't already because she then she can just be like okay whatever i have left i'm just gonna hold on and throw it up at the next ready to ship or something like that. Um, but she may still have it up. There was only a handful of things, honestly, not much. And all of the stuff that she put up from her personal collection is gone. Like it went really fast. So um, anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.